Understanding the phrase, waning gibbous, a journey through lunar phases. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore an interesting and somewhat poetic phrase in English, waning gibbous. This phrase is not just a part of language learning, but also a dive into astronomy and the natural world. So, let's embark on this linguistic and cosmic journey together. First, let's dissect waning gibbous into its two components. The word waning means decreasing or diminishing in size, brightness, or strength. In astronomy, it refers to the moon as it moves from a full moon towards a new moon. The word gibbous, on the other hand, describes the shape of the moon when it is more than half illuminated but not yet full. So, when we put these two terms together, waning gibbous describes a specific phase of the moon. Understanding waning gibbous requires a basic grasp of the lunar cycle. The moon goes through several phases. New moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, and waning crescent. Each phase has its own unique appearance and occurs at specific times during the lunar month. Let's visualize what we've learned. Picture a night sky with a bright full moon. As days pass, the moon starts to shrink in appearance. This shrinking phase, where the illuminated part is gradually getting smaller but is still more than half visible, is the waning gibbous phase. It's a beautiful and observable phenomenon that connects language with nature. I hope this video has illuminated the meaning of waning gibbous for you, both linguistically and astronomically. Remember, language learning can be an exciting journey through different subjects and disciplines. Keep exploring, and don't forget to look up at the night sky for some real-time examples of what we discussed today. Until our next lesson, happy learning and stargazing!